Now, the On Your Side forecast with meteorologist Adam Bierman. All right, it's going to be another warm, smoky day as we head into tomorrow. Let's take a look at our forecast, see what we can expect, see if we can get rid of this smoke, change up the weather pattern at all. We'll start with our current conditions. It's 87 right now in Boise and in Mountain Home. Uh, the temperature's about the same as they've been here for the last few days now. A little warmer in Ontario, 91 degrees there. Twin Falls checking in at 84, and it's a comfortable 76 in McCall, 75 in Stanley and Sun Valley with Salmon, Idaho checking in at 73 here this hour. Looking across the Pacific Northwest, you can really see the heat building off to our west. Portland up to 93 degrees. It's pretty hot for Portland, but they've been hot like that all summer. In fact, uh, a lot of folks in uh, the, the western tier of Seattle uh, and uh, Portland and pretty much all of this area have seen one of the hottest summers on record. Uh, it hasn't been so bad a little further east in Boise, but definitely here they've been dealing with some serious heat. Now we're seeing the repercussions of that, all that heat and dryness as those fires start to ignite all across the Cascades, the Blue Mountains, and of course we're downwind, so a lot of that smoke coming in toward us. Medford at 101 degrees, almost as hot as Las Vegas. How often does that happen? Cooler once you get across the, uh, the Rockies, 61 in Casper, uh, but unfortunately that cool air is going to stay off to our east. Wind has been going pretty good today as we expected, blowing around uh, 15, 20 miles per hour all the way down the uh, Treasure Valley Corridor into Elmore County as well. Uh, so that is definitely making for a breezy, hot and dry afternoon. As we look across the Pacific Northwest, there's really nothing coming. We've got this very large ridge of high pressure just set up here across the Pacific Northwest. So what that means is storms are being sent way north up into British Columbia before they can finally start to shoot down and bring that cool Canadian air into the United States. So places like Montana, Wyoming, the Dakotas, nice and cool. 60s, 70s for highs the last few days with ample moisture coming down along the, along the jet stream. But we're stuck under this large blocking pattern that's keeping things very dry and very hot here across the Pacific Northwest. And unfortunately, things are going to stay like that. Here's a look at our water vapor. This tells us uh, how dry the air is. And you can see this uh, orange is about the driest it gets. And it's uh, setting up right across Oregon, Nevada, and again, still pushing up into Idaho as well. So we're going to keep things pretty smoky. Pretty hot. Those fires are probably going to keep on burning here for a while. Here's what we can expect in the Treasure Valley tomorrow. Areas of smoke, sunny and hot. 93 in Ontario, 90 for Nampa, Emmett, Boise. Uh, Mountain Home warming up to about 89 degrees. A hazy day. 94 for Vail. 93 over in Weezer. Caldwell up to 91. Meridian hitting about 90. Up in the west, Central Mountains warmer here as well. Looking for low 80s into the Long Valley. 92 in Riggins, 91 in Council, and 91 out toward Garden Valley. Featherville should be warming up to 83. In the South Central Mountains, we're expecting areas of smoke. A little bit comfortable though, temperature wise, 78 in Stanley, 79 for Sun Valley. And as we head into the Magic Valley, we're looking for smoky conditions, sunny skies, 88 in Twin Falls, 84 in Shoshone and Burley, with gooding up, gooding up to about 85. And here's our seven day forecast now. Temperatures are going to be hot the next couple of days. We're talking low 90s, so not too out of control, but definitely warmer than it has been lately. And then a cold front shoots through Friday. That'll knock us down into the low to mid 80s. For Friday and Saturday, it'll be breezy again, and then after that, the heat starts to build back in early next week with temperatures back up to about average for this time of year, around 90. Breeze. Uh, we would like the breeze to be strong possible. Yeah, and get the, get the smoke out, but the problem is yeah. the fires up wind just keep bringing yeah, smoke bring in. We need to get those fires out. Yeah, true. Thanks, right. Adam. Thanks, Adam. Donald Trump takes some time off the campaign trail while 